Hello everyone and welcome back to, to a brand new video and a brand new episode of the Chelsea 11 series. Now, this episode we're going to be looking to pack one of the brand new team of the season cards. Now, uh, I believe there are two to Chelsea players, one former, one current Chelsea player uh, that we could potentially get. Uh, unless, I, unless I'm mistaken... Um, let's have a look. Okay, you got Loftus Cheek there, but I did. F I thought Ramirez was getting a card, unless he's going to be in the mini release. That might be the case, but we've got Loftus Cheek right there, who we're going to want, of course. So we're praying for a Loftus Cheek in our guaranteed pack that EA have gifted us. But if you are new to the series, please do consider subscribing to join us on our road to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. That'd be greatly appreciated. And also, to help us on our road to 460 subscribers by the end of this month. That'd be greatly appreciated as well. But without further ado, we're not going to waste too much time. Let's get straight into this guaranteed TOTS pack. We're wanting to see England here. Can we get Ruben Loftus-Cheek? Come on. Please, English, English, English. No! Who's that? Mikel Moreno. Uh, not what we needed, not what we wanted, but he's definitely not the worst of the worst. So we'll take him, but not we wanted we wanted Loftus cheek. His card looks mental and he'd be so nice in our team, but we have to settle with Mikel Moreno. Of course we can't use him, so he's probably just gonna go into an SBC of some sort, whether it's an exchange or an upgrade. But, I mean, not a bad way to start the episode. We start on a tot, but it is guaranteed. So, I think now we'll get straight into a game and then we'll open some upgrade packs and try and get one of these team of the season cards without, of course, being guaranteed one. But, let's do this. Right, ladies and gents, the first team we're going to be facing is looking like this. Lampard, Rodri, Futre. Viali, Berbatov, Del Castillo, Cafu, Komen, Paredes, DeMarco, Enter, Stegen. Uh, it's a pretty no it's an alright team. It's not too great. We've seen a lot better teams, but we're gonna have to see if we can beat them. Now a corner. Mason Mount to take. He'll whip it in. Looking for Nicholas Jackson, who leaps at the front post and nods it into the far corner to make it 1-0 to the Chelsea 11. A great start from this man again. He is just so good up front for us. And we lead one goal. Mount. Jackson's in. Great run from him. Jackson in behind. One-on-one -on -one with Ter Stegen. And he slots it home to make it 2-0 to the Chelsea 11. Nicholas Jackson, the goal sto scorer yet again. And he's doubled his tally. Now, corner again. Could Jackson pounce at the front post? Yes, again, he does. And he gets it in. 3-0. Hat-trick for Nicholas Jackson. What a start to our first game. This man already on a hat-trick in nearly less than 10 minutes. It's a great start for the Chelsea eleven. Another corner. Mason Mount to take. Whips it in. Looking for Nicholas Jackson. A hat-trick of headers. And that's 4-0. Four goals for Jackson. It's an absolutely sensational display from him. But Mount Jackson. See you later. Jackson's in. Jackson! Bang! 5 0. Five goals for Nicholas Jackson. He's on fire. This is an absolutely ridiculous scoreline. But Mount, second corner, whipped in again. Reese James going for the second of time, and he does get it in. It's 6 0 to the Chelsea 11. Reese James' first goal for the Chelsea 11 from the corner, and it's a great ball from Mason Mount to find him. Jackson, corner, Mount to take, whipped in, Jackson again, 7-0, this is ridiculous, Jackson with I believe 6 goals now, this is getting ridiculous, what a game for him, it's 7-0 to the Chelsea 11, Salah, Mount, Jackson, Cuthbert, Caicedo, Jackson, this is lovely play, Jackson's in, Jackson scores, 8-0 Chelsea 11, this is ridiculous. Nicholas Jackson with his seventh goal of the game. And that is half time. What a game this is. This is getting crazy at this point. Any substitutes? You know what? We're going to take off Jackson. We're going to give Werner a go up top because Jackson is on seven goals. Uh, Enzo, we're going to bring on for Caicedo. Sicario, we're going to keep actually on the bench. But we're going to bring on Fofana for Ake. And... I think that'll be it for now. Yeah, those are the three changes we're going to make. Fernandez is coming on. 
Verna's coming on and Fofana's coming on. Hopefully these changes can help us, but we are winning 8 0, so it'll be a bit of a surprise if we bottle this. Werner off the bat, maybe. Could he catch him off guard? Werner in behind. Scores! What is going on? This is ridiculous. 9-0 to the Chelsea 11. Timo Werner with his own goal. And this is just nearly double digits. It's ridiculous. Enzo looking to play a bit of a flare pass. And he does to Werner. Werner in for a second. It's 10-0. 10-0, we're into double digits, and Timo Werner with his second of the game. Enzo with a fantastic assist, and that's 10-0 to the Chelsea 11. Werner steals him, round the keeper, scores! 11-0 to the Chelsea 11, Timo Werner with a hat-trick now. This is just getting insane. Oh, Cafu. Chilwell inter intercepts now. Chilwell. Good ball to Werner. He's, he's on the turn. Werner looks across goal. Plays it to Mount. He'll tap it in. 12-0 to the Chelsea 11. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Enzo. Finds Mount. Mason Mount. Salah across goal. He'll tap it in. And it's 13-0. Probably our best game ever on this series. Mohamed Salah. Gives us the 13th goal of the game and grabs his first with a little tap in. Tough but chance, Werner. Werner back to Kufbert. It's 14. 14 0. This is ridiculous. Kufbert gets her first goal of the game, and this is just insane. Corner chance, Mason Mount. Can he, we get another goal? It's whipped in, looking for someone. Header to Stegen hits him, but Mount still has it. Could he put the ball into the box? It's a good one. And it's finished off by Carvalho. 15-0. A sensational ball into the box, and it's finished off by the Portuguese defender. 15-0 to the Chelsea 11. This is just out of this world. Take it to the door. That's a really unlucky goal kick, and Vern is in to finish it off. 16-0, Timo Werner. What a display from us. And unlucky there from Ter Stegen and Nets. Mounts. Spots Werner. Werner in behind. The centre half can't get the better of him. Werner to Stegen to the rescue. But DeMarco's tripped by his keeper. So is the other defender. Cuthbert's in. 17-0. This is ridiculous. Another mistake from the defence means we get another goal. It's 17-0. But Werner on the turn. Werner on the shot, on the finish. 18-0. Could we make it 20 before the end of this game? I don't know, but this has just been outstanding. Mount to take the corner again. It's whipped in. Carvalho towers overall and makes it 19-0. One minute left to play. I don't think we'll make it 20 unless we can win the ball back in these last few seconds. They've still got it here. They've played it. Werner intercepts, but they've intercepted Werner. Chance forward. Carvalho gets a tackle in, but the referee's going to play advantage. And that is surely going to be the final whistle. Are they going to play it? This is No, they're just going to time waste. Wow. They can't believe that they've just been battered this badly. That they're going to time waste here with, in the last few moments of the game. Come on, man. Please. How long does it take, man? I thought there was like a 10-second countdown on this thing. Maybe 30. There we go. Kicking it forward. One by Enzo. Flicked on by Mount. Played Werner in, but no. That's the full-time whistle. Timo Werner takes the match ball despite Jackson grabbing seven. He only gets five, but he does get the match ball. A very, very good game there. That was out of this world. I don't think we've scored more goals than that in a game of the Chelsea 11 series so far. And we get 800 coins as well, which just shows how good we played that game. Because you usually get about 500, 600. But what a dominant display and what a result for our first game of rivals. Right, ladies and gents, a brand, well, two brand new Evos have been released because of this new Team of the Season promo, and one of them is a, a Cam Evo. Now, sadly, Cuthbert can't go into the DM1 because she has one more normal playstyle than allowed, 
which is really annoying because that would have been a sick card. But Mason Mount, our 84 rated, can go into the Cam 1, which sends him up all the way to an 88 rated. A plus 4, upping his passing to 89, his dribbling to 87, his shooting to 87. And his pace, still a bit slow, but he does gain the Rapid Plus, which might help him out a bit. He also goes 5 star, 4 star. So that is a very nice looking card. We're going to start the Evo on him just so we can try and get this very nice looking mason mount card because if we do that's a huge evo for our team because it means our midfield is going to be even more stacked but like i said there is um a unleashing potential evo and i still don't know whether to use it on jackson or cuff but but Given the fact that it's Tots now and I don't see another midfielder Evo coming out, I may use this on Cuthbert now because I could see a striker one coming out that Jackson could potentially go into. So I'm going to put it on Aaron Cuthbert and it does look pretty nice to be fair. Those stats, very nice looking. It's 86, 87, 89, 89, 83, 75. So we're going to put this on Aaron Cuthbert and hopefully we can get that done because that'll be a nice looking card. But again, another Evo being started this episode. It's been a while since we started one out, but that's going to be a nice looking card once finished. But Mason Mount and Aaron Cuthbert are the two Evos we're going to be doing for the next few episodes. Now, there are a few other ones like the 99 shooting form with the inform defensive mid but i don't think we have a player for the defensive mid actually no we do we have kaisado or we could put enzo into it now i'm pretty sure this does give the incisive pass plus if i'm not mistaken it does so we generally might put this on enzo because he does play more of a higher role than kaisado so we're going to put this on enzo because we've already Kais evo kaisado a bit so enzo is also going to go into another evo so that means we have three evos all midfielders uh, getting upgraded which is quite nice so that can help out the team quite a lot because then we'll get an 87 rated midfielder an 88 rated midfielder and another 88 rated midfielder and that cuff bar is probably going to be the best of the three because her stats look amazing but i think now we'll have a look into the sbc section and see what we can complete and whether we can pack one of these brand new team of the season cards but we'll have to find out let's do this right ladies and gents we do have a few packs to open here those including a pack from the daily play, two from the Golos, Golozo Master, uh, which is an 8-1-11 and an 80 times 10 And the final being the E-Figs 82 times 11 upgrade. Now, who are we looking for? Of course, that man Ruben Loftus-Cheek would be ideal. He'd fit straight into our team. But, of course, we do want to see some other blues. Of course, we, that we can only use Loftus-Cheek from the selection of Team of the Seasons that are currently out. Which is a kind of annoying, but... We're going to have to see if we can pack one in these four packs here. First pack, a 78 times 2 is going to be a English centre-back from Manchester City. Is it going to be Greenwood or Stones? It's Stones. Usually it's Greenwood, so I'm happy with that. That's not a bad start. 85 rated John Stones. Next one we're going to open is going to be the 80 times 10. Let's see what we can get out of this. It's going to be a Italian goalie from... Napoli it's Alex Murray a pretty bad pull to be fair considering the pack we've just opened but there's going to be three dupes there which we're all going to discard not not the greatest pack we started quite well and now we've gone back to mid now we're on the 81 11 I'm hoping maybe for a, a walkout a walkout would be nice in this I don't care if it's a blue or not but a walkout would be very nice it's going to be English Cam Manchester United Ella Toon pretty mid i'm not a great start i can't lie i was hoping for a bit better but it's not been great so far and hopefully we can be saved with this 82 times 11 efigs pack i'm hoping maybe a walkout at least if we're not going to get a blue that'd be quite nice um i don't know what i'd want maybe a former chelsea player maybe a kdb that'd be nice i guess or courtois that just pretty much a former chelsea player if not a blue it's going to be a gold rare Spanish centre midfield. Wow, that's awful. Luis Alberto. Four very bad packs. I can't lie. I was hoping for a walkout from at least the 82 11, but no, we don't get anything out of it. That's an incredibly bad way to start in terms of our team of the season packs because that is pretty poor. But I think we may have a 10 coin pack. I don't know. 
Do we have one? No, we don't. To add insult to injury, we don't. But I think we might as well open our preview pack while we're here. Let's see. I swear, if we actually get a higher rate out of our preview than we have out of our packs, this is just a joke. I mean, that's an 83. That's joint with our one of our packs. So it's pretty bad, I can't lie to you. Let's have a look at the SBCs and see if we can do any more upgrades. Because so far, we're not very lucky with these blue cards. Right, ladies and gents, we have a 89 exchange and a team of the week pack here. But this is tradable. So if it's not a good one, we'll put this straight into an 83 times 10. And we also have, of course, the 89 exchange. But these are about a bit 50-50 right now. They have been good recently, but not for tots. So I doubt we'll get a tots from it. But we're hoping for maybe just 8 threes, 8 fours. Let's have a look at what we're going to get. English CDM from Barcelona. That's not bad. Kira Walsh, 85 rated. Could be a lot worse, I can't lie. Anything behind. Gavi, Borgia, Iglesias, Mertens. Uh, we've got 11 duplicates, which are a bunch of common goals. So we're just going to swap all tradable items and then discard them all there. But, I mean, that wasn't that bad. I, w I didn't expect much, but an 85 rated is all right. And now we have our tradable team of the week pack. What are we going to get? Let's see. Probably something bad. And if it is the case, we'll put it into an 8310. It's going to be... Ooh, is that Sugawawa? 85? If I'm not mistaken. Sugawawa, he is an 85. I mean, I doubt he'll go for much. I think informs are about 19, 20k right now. So, honestly, we're just going to put him into an 8310. And that's what we'll open to end the episode. But, let's see. Are we going to end the episode on any luck? Or are we just going to end it just how we started with hardly any good tots luck? We'll have to find out. Let's see what we can get in, 80, uh, in our next pack, which is going to be an 8310. Right, ladies and gents, to finish off this episode, here we are, an 83 times 10. Can we get anything good? We're hoping to see a blue flare. Do I think we'll get one? Probably not, but if we do, we want an English flag because we want Ruben Loftus cheek. Right, let's go to end the episode. 83 10. Please at least be a walkout, if not a blue. It is a blue, finally. English, please. No, it's Chilean goalkeeper. It's Endler, but it's going to be a double then. Who is the blue? Be. Ruben Loftus cheek, it's not, it's Sabozalai. That's still an insane pull, to be fair. Sabozalai. I did not expect that. That's a really good card, actually, but we can't use him, of course. That's still a sick pull to end this episode. How much is he? He's about 200k, maybe. That's not a bad pull at all to end the episode. We got our first packed tots. That isn't, of course, from a guaranteed pack. That's a sick pull as well. A very nice looking card. 91, 92, 93, 90. With three playstyle pluses. A very, very good card. Sadly, we can't use him, though. Which is kind of annoying, but we do get Endler in there as well, which is also quite nice. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the Chelsea 11 series. We do get our team of the season, our first team of the season of this promo, which is very nice. And it's a pretty good one as well. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.